Hi, welcome back to Sketch Safari. Ah! And remember I did the dog video, how to draw dogs step by step like this? Well, like now I said on that video that I'm going to do another one. So now it's today, wake up. And so if you make any mistakes, remember to pause the video. It is not good if you you have a water spill in your computer, electronics are right by there, and then it's like bleh, and then yeah. And so if it's a pen, you accidentally um, get a step wrong with a pen, redo the video please. And it will be a breeze. So let's get started. So first you need a pencil and a pen and some crayons to color with. If you get those, you can draw the cat. So first, we're going to start with the eyes. So let's um, do the circles with a little tiny dot right, like right here, th your pencil, and then shade it like right over here. So it looks like a triangle, but it's actually not. So let's do some bubbles in its eyes and this is also for what eyelashes I don't think cats have eyelashes but I imagine they do let's do the other eye so you need to focus on the first one that the second one can look like that so I won't really talk in this uh, part because you'll you you'll need to like kind of follow the first one. And now let's do the nose. So the nose is kind of a like weird line. It's bumpy. It's not really in order. The line looks like this. It looks like bubble tea. So then it's, you know, its mouth is right over here. I'm sticking its tongue out. The tongue is just, you need to um, like, you need to like wave it in like, like a, um, you're doing a bubble, but two bubbles and yeah. And now let's do a little tiny line in the inside. And some whiskers like right here. and the ears. So after this, we'll do coloring and um, like darkening it with the pencil. But right now you need to focus on the body. So you need to make it like it's having fur right now. Because the fur is the most important part. So now let's do the tail. So the tail is just like a like this like a whoop and then you do it in like it's a big hill you can do any line really I'm doing some designs on it so if there's designs here you'll do some designs here and also right here so it just makes more sense and after Let's do its, pa its paws and legs. So its paws will more look like this. You can make designs again. It looks like mine is wearing socks. But remember, do those whoops like the tongue and the tail to fit this in. So then later, you're gonna do some spikes like that one. If you wanna do some des creative designs, you can do whatever you want, really. So then, after that, you can do the same as right here, or you can make your own designs. Again, you can you need to whoop it in. The whoop is the most important thing. And the connecting for the face is kind of hard. So now we're using a pen, a marker, whatever you can do to remember to trace the lines 
So you can also get it more fur that way, and you can also um, do it like it's you're animating it right now. I can usually, you remember on the dog one, I did some shade afterwards? So that's what I'm gonna do for this. And remember, I didn't have any crayons to color with and, or markers, so I'm using these crayons. And now, um, now I'm tra tracing it in. You can trace in your designs too, because that's also what you need to do. It's the most important part of your cat, to your creative mind part. So then let's all color it in. And then we're ready for the third step. That means it's the last step. So now I'm gonna keep quiet. Okay, so now you get to color. So, oh wait. <laughs> I was exposed to do my other one that is an orange. Kinda doesn't make sense because the cat doesn't really look like a cat, but it actually is. You just need to see and wait. Do you see why I'm keeping the bubbles out? It's because those are the blue types. Soon it will kinda look like a tiger. Let's do one last thing for that. Um, it's like it's swishing its tail. Let's get away. This was why I was keeping it out, to color it in with blue. You can do pattern designs. And you, you can do that. And remember the shade. And remember the dog, I also did this. It's the bubble. And write who's it's from. I can usually tell which one it's mine. So it's by me, so I know it's you. Cursive, like what I said on the dog. And you can do any um, face expressions on the next one. And how did you feel? Did you feel good about it? Oh, do you see me um, like, like, um, like just underlining the eyes? Well, that is why um, it's all done now. So, well, that was it. Did you have fun making the cat? Step by step. <laughs> So remember to like and subscribe to this channel video. Remember, remember to hit the bells below. And bye.